Today we are looking at Frank Tofano. The guy is actually got to be the worst person in the fitness space. It's literally astounding that he has such following. I don't know, I generally don't know if he has that following because people find what he says funny or, or they actually believe him. And I also don't know if his channel is all a joke. Like, I still haven't worked out if he believes in what he actually says because his claims are just worryingly false, like stupid. The guy, and this is the thing, he claims to be a bodybuilder and a coach of some sort, a fitness coach. The worrying part to that is, I would never want to receive advice from this guy. Like, he looks, he doesn't look like a bodybuilder, he doesn't look like someone that's in shape, and if anybody is in shape, he just thinks they're on steroids, which, like, I'm gonna say, this is the reason I'm wearing a vegan vibes top today. If you know me personally, you know that I'm not, like, about you have to be vegan. I think you can, you can get in shape on any diet, that is true. The, uh, the carnivore diet, no, I'm not keen on that. It has to be said, that Sean should be put to bed, full stop. I don't know how his channel has a place on YouTube. But anyway, we're going to discuss some of his ridiculous claims. And obviously you guys are new to my channel. I'm a coach. I train people that are vegan, people that are non-vegan. I don't care what you do. Um, my, my interest is getting you results. You can do it on both omnivore diet, vegan diet, but certainly not a carnivore diet. It's certainly not optimal. So this guy just has to stop. Um, and I just want to go against some of his claims today. If you follow him, please send him this link because he needs to see this. I literally don't understand how his channel is like, even is even in his comments, people don't really disagree with him. Like, I don't know if it's a joke. I don't know if he's just managed to find people that support his notion, but like, I don't think I'm biased to the vegan diet. I don't, but, but he, fuck. Anyway, let's get into it. You can diet till your face falls off, go ahead. But when you start having seizures, you know, your girlfriend has a miscarriage, your child's growth is stunned, they get taken away by CPS, it becomes a bit of an issue, doesn't it? He's really good at this. He does this the whole way through the video. He gets like someone that's anorexic, been on a vegan diet or struggling with health problems. He does this the whole way through and picks the 1% of people, by the way, there's footage of him throwing up online where he ate too much meat um, and he's blaming it on the amount of food he ate and not the, just the fact that he ate just raw meat, but you know. Requires me to eat more meals. So instead of my normal one meal per day, uh, I've been eating two large meals per day. And I'm not 100% sure if the issue I had yesterday and this week was caused by all of these triggers, but eating more food and blasting yourself with EMF is a quick way to get stomach problems. So on Thursday night, I ate about a pound, a pound and a half of ground beef because I'm just craving protein all day when I work out. And then I had a hard time sleeping, heart palpitations, insomnia. Around 9.30 a.m., I got really nauseous and for the first time in my life, uh, projectile vomited all over the place. Just this really foul mixture of ground beef and these oils. This gave me a reality check on why I stopped lifting weights in the first place, partially because of the food volume. It is not conducive to health. Whatever. We can all cherry pick one off examples. It's not because they're vegan, it's because they executed on a diet flat out wrong. Same with people taking steroids and not being honest about it. Oh yeah, bro, I bench 800 pounds. All natty, totally. 700 for reps. Lightweight, baby! Catch you in the sauna later, bro. Both of these groups of people are using an illusion to sell you products, food, supplements, and meal plans, whatever it may be. So he compares steroid to veganism. He compares steroids to veganism as if to say, that basically what he says is, people that are on steroids, um, by the way, I'm 100% natural and vegan, right? But I'm much more of a stronger, better athlete than he is. Totally vegan, totally natural, never touch steroids. I'm not selling a false dream. I'm saying what you can achieve, full stop, natural and vegan. So he compares basically people that are on steroids to people that are vegan and saying that they can sell 
the people that are vegan and saying that you can get in shape on a vegan diet are lying. I would have him follow me around for six months and follow me around and see exactly what I eat, see if I take any steroids, which I don't, and see if, you know, and, and show him that I, I make results. Find the two the vegan diet and performance enhancing drugs, you have a conflict of interest to say the least. You have a diet that will cause you to waste away at the hands of various nutrient deficiencies, especially B vitamins and omega fatty acids. Then you have synthetic laboratory substances that allow superhuman feats. Someone taking steroids, even when on a vegan diet, if using modern plant protein powders, is able to achieve strength and physique far beyond what is naturally possible. If either of these factors didn't exist, you know, vegans would waste away just like the average person does when they go vegan. Without synthetic protein powders that turn these indigestible plant foods into available amino acids, and without the hormones to create unnatural muscle and strength, they would be just just like every other skinny, fat, vegan, soy boy schmuck. I mean, he's absolutely rinsing the vegan diet here. Um, I don't know anybody that is for the carnivore diet, any trainer, anybody, literally legit, that, that I feel that is an accredited opinion that is for the carnivore diet. He makes it out that you... That, carbohydrates, by the way, are the fuel for building muscle. They are the fuel. Weight training is glycolytic training. It requires carbohydrates. Not to say that you can't do it without them, but you'd have a very hard time doing it. Carbohydrates are the performance fuel. Like anything that's glycolytic, weight training, weight training in particular, which he's really fond of, is glycolytic. It requires carbohydrates, glycogen to, to move like it does. And if you deplete your glycogen stores, you have a very hard time producing the maximum overload within an innovative session. Although, that's what some of you want, and then you want to put them in a dress and fantasize about it. These vegan bodybuilding clown butt buddies have been around for a while, but now with the Game Changers documentary taking off... Just back to my point earlier, if you do follow this guy, and you, you, I mean, you're interested in his content, or you think he's legit, Please understand that he's not, knows nothing, absolute imbecile. Like, I would never be that strongly opinionated about somebody in this fitness space, but he is what's absolutely wrong with it. I thought people that took steroids and lie about it are wrong with it. Like, they're actually, there's some truth to it. Like, this guy's, so if you are, literally send him this video, send him it. But literally impossible as a vegan. <laughs> Nutrition to synthesize. Oh my god! It's impossible as a vegan! I want to just say something here. So, since being vegan, I've been the strongest I've ever been. I've been the heaviest I've ever been. Um, I also ran 20 miles, which at 7,000 people, big event, uh, the rat race, I came 16th, um, so my endurance was pretty good, yeah. There, at that point, if you look at me in pictures, I was on a vegan diet then, and since then, I mean a year later, I've ended up being the heaviest I've ever been, at 87, so almost 20 kg difference, all on the vegan diet, all natural, no steroids, the reason there are only five muscular vegan dudes on this planet. It's likely because a vegan diet doesn't provide enough cholesterol for testosterone synthesis long term, but that's a whole nother story. See I'm going to pop up a few studies that also suggest uh, vegan diet actually increases testosterone. There's good evidence to suggest that it does, um, and I'll pop up a few studies now. But let's just put one study and talk about basically the, a meta-analysis by the way, so obviously they've looked over tons and tons of data. So the result of the, the conclusion and the result of the meta-analysis is that suggests that neither soy foods nor isoflavones, which is what you see in uh, the soy products, uh, alter the measures of bioavailability of testosterone concentration in men. Now this is just one that's a, a really unbiased view, it doesn't say it does it for, but it doesn't say 
It doesn't. Um, whilst we're on the subject of soy as well, because he criticizes it a lot, soy, uh, he says that that turn these indigestible plant foods into available amino acids, soy and plant-based foods, or the hormones in estrogenic feedlot beef. Either way, these people are getting you to inject testosterone, TRT, very lucrative, profitable business. So we have what's called the PD-CAS, or the Protein Digestible Corrected Amino Acid Score, and uh, soy, that he really heavily criticizes, has a score of a, around one. So what they do is, after the protein's been digested, they actually test the feces and see if there's any protein in the feces that's been undigested, and that gives us a protein score. Um, and so obviously one would mean complete or the protein has been digested. And soy, the thing that he criticizes the most, has a score of one. So it, if that doesn't uh, disclose his bullshit myth, then I don't know what does. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, and just want to debunk some ridiculous statements here, Frankie uh, Tefano, I'm going to make lots more on him. His whole channel is based about literally like going at vegans. And as I say, you know, I'm wearing this top today, but I'm not a die-hard vegan who says that everybody has to be vegan. I train most of my clients that aren't vegan. Please understand that. And I've clients have been with me that have, uh, that have been with me a long time and don't know I'm vegan. But for him to come out with these claims. Somebody please send him this video. I'm going to be coming at him more. There's some ridiculous videos of him training. Um, he'd probably remove him now. If he ever sees this video, knowing that we're going to attack his videos of his training, how he can call himself someone, an expert in fitness, is a shambles. If it, it, it's a shambles. Absolute shambles. Um, the guy's a joke. Like, I've just, I, I've actually just never met somebody as... Um, is, is, I'm literally lost for words with him, honestly. He, he confuses me, he absolutely confuses me. So until next time, see ya.